Hello everyone, welcome back to some more RimWorld Alpha 14. We've got our colony over here. Things are going okay. We don't have any raiders for once, which is great. There is a bunch of blood over here because there's a boar bleeding. We're gonna hunt it at some point. Davo over here did lose his right arm and has got worms, unfortunately. We've got Marat, our secondary doctor. Just taking care of him right now, making sure he doesn't bleed out or anything. That would be a waste. Yeah, I really wish he would still have his arm. Angie has a poor mood. We'll resolve that quickly. Unfortunately, we have a ton of rotting corpses over here that you love walking past. We're gonna get rid of that zone right now. And then we're gonna make a dumping stockpile in... We'll tuck it in here. And then we'll make this for animal corpses. And that's it. Just animal corpses. Now where is... We don't have to look, of course. Reserved by Kai. Okay, so we're not gonna dump any animals anymore over here. And we really need to get rid of these bodies at some point. I don't want to give them a grave. So we'd have to build a place to cremate them in. A... I'm fairly sure we have to research one of those, though. Yeah, we'd have to go for... None of these. I think electric smelting might have something to do with it. There is an electric cremation now instead of just a furnace, which is interesting. So yeah, we'll have to get electric smelting and then electronic cremation before we can get properly rid of the bodies. Unfortunately, we're getting some research done with Marat. Although, uh, safe to say our group isn't the best. Oh, I just noticed we have a bunch of frag grenades. That's gonna solve stuff. Davos fully healed. Engie, can you go and use those frag grenades for me? And I'd like you to haul them. What we're gonna do is we are going to use the powerful effect of explosives to get rid of a bunch of corpses. It's gonna be just fine, nothing to worry about. There we go, one of them is gone. Moving on to the next, we're just gonna walk, work our way through the pile here. Now this is actually quite efficient, like, body removal. Trying to not take out the chunks while we're at it. You just got a poor mood, I think you just observed them. Nope! It starts expiring pretty soon, it's done expiring pretty soon. Well that takes care of part of the issues. I mean, the less bodies there are, the less there are to be decreasing our mood all the time, which would be great. You know. There we go, this is efficiency. I mean, that's an awful cloth shirt that wasn't worth anything anyway. Alright, and you can go back home now, or eat a fine meal. That takes care of our body problem, thankfully. We could tell Angie to use the assault rifle again. For now. I do want to keep those frag grenades inside. Because you just clearly saw how effective they were at getting rid of our uh, unwanted flesh. Let's put it like that. Getting rid of unwanted flesh is quite helpful. It does solve a lot of issues that I've, that we have. Why is there no music playing? That's a bit annoying. I've been noticing like some issues with trying to get a modded soundtrack to play. And it hasn't been working very well. And like this save, which has been updated from like 0.14.1.34 to like... We're now playing in 0.14.1.34. 12.41, there we go. I can math. Yeah, I think upgrading that might have mo broken the mod, so I might get it out, I'm not entirely sure. It might just be that it might just be bad luck, and it'll be working out alright again when we start up the game next time. As it stands, 
might want to just toggle on a song, I don't know. It's fairly annoying how that does keep happening in games. Oh, there we go. Timberwolf. You are not all that hungry right now, so thankfully we can get here safely and harvest some more berries. Before all this is going to... I wouldn't say spoil, I would more say it's gonna... It's gonna get a lot harder once we can no longer grow or harvest any vegetables. Pretty sure we did get our pemmican research. Yep, we did. Okay. Now we can use that to our benefit, but right now we don't really have to. I will probably keep some pemmican as secondary backup food at some point. Because the ability to just have pemmican lying there and be like, yeah, we, we're gonna spoil in like a year. That's just... Very useful to have. Marat is doing some lovely research. One of our people is idle. Kai is visiting a grave. Nope, he's wandering. You lazy slacker. I mean, you're not the worst at hunting, I suppose. We could do it some more hunting, I guess. Is there anything we'd like to hunt in the vicinity? Uh, there's a megatherium over there. It doesn't move as fast as we do. It gives 360 meat. Got a bunch of muffalo as well. I think what we'll do is when we have more idle people. Ooh, stone cutting, finally. Let's get hydroponics. Uh, who are all idle? NG and Kai. I'm gonna recruit you two. We're gonna shoot that megatherium to death. It's sort of like a new rare creature, not as rare as the. Uh, that's a thrumbo, but it's still quite rare. And big. And meaty. And dying. Shoot the timber wolf. It's eating us. It's stealing our meat. I don't want any of that. There we go. Two for the price of none. Excellent. Now the muffalo might get mad, but they also die. So, you know, this is going to be enough meat for forever. Hey guys, if you could haul those bodies, that would be great. Thanks. Oh, that's a lot of meat we'll be getting. Meat's back on the menu, boys! It doesn't say how much... See, the annoying thing is we can't see how much meat they give when they're dead. But when they're alive, it's like, yeah, sure, you'll get like... This amount of meat from us. It's very annoying and inconsistent at times. Davos just vomiting all over the place. I mean, we're gonna get him to butcher, although his efficiency is a lot lower. Because, of course, he doesn't have a second arm to do it with. So we're not gonna get quite as much meat. We still should get a decent amount, but... It's nothing to write home about anymore. Still, it's better than nothing. So we can always sell the fur. That'll also be very helpful. Gonna get us some silver. And we still need to look out for silver because we never really started with a lot of it. Did we already butcher the megatherium or did we just haul it? I'm not entirely sure, but its body is definitely gone. Like it disappeared. Oh no, we definitely butchered it. We made it disappear. I mean, we have a pretty well filled freezer right now. We can always use the meat with something else. I mean, there's like 1770 berries left that we can just eat whenever. NG and Kai are both idle again. Shooting of 10, sweet. Shooting of 11, wow. Ooh, there's an Ibex doe lying dead over there. It's missing a bunch of body parts, but that never stopped us before. Let's deconstruct those ship parts and get some steel from that. There's Muffalo on the map now as well, because of course Boreal Forest and it's starting to get cold. And Muffalo can survive said cold quite easily. 
So that's going to be very nice in the long run. Just getting more meat from all the stuff that's lying dead or dying. You are hauling said Ibex dough. Now you're going to deconstruct the ship junk. Meanwhile, we've got Murat doing some excellent research for us. At a semi-decent pace as well, for once. I'm tempted to replace it with a high-tech research bench. It wouldn't take up that much more space. But I don't want to remove it yet. He's doing so well. Actually, you know what, we might be able to... Yeah, we could squeeze in inside, why not? That seems like a great idea. We're gonna set up a harvest command for all our potatoes over there. Because I have a bad feeling they're not gonna be able to grow anymore in like minus 10. There is 32 components over here, that is a ton. I'm pretty sure they buff the amount of components you get from a ship junk, so that's good. Like, really good. Prioritize working on the research bench, please. Ten components. Oh yes, this is very nice. The sooner we can get our high-tech research off the ground, the better. We can also have two people researching now. And this is going to be more effective at researching as well, which is very nice. It is minus 16 outside, dear lord. Your research speed is 99%, whereas yours is only 57. See, there you go. 46 potatoes over there. It's not nothing. Let's let's call it what it is. It's not nothing. Davo, can you haul those components for me? Kai, I need a bunch of steel. I mean, I don't really need it. We have like 2,000 lying around over here and plenty more in the rocks. But it's nice to have, you know. Marat, can you do me some research later? I know you're not good at it, but come on, man, just do it. Davo is usually too busy to do any researching, but you know, he can always pitch in if he wants to. Davo needs treatment. Yeah, first gut worms, that's fine. What I'd really like is prosthetics, so we can give him an arm again. Gotta love those 32 components, though. Only 380 watts, but eh, it's happening. No complaints here. None at all. Right, so what are we gonna do next? Well, I think it might be a good idea to start placing some traps down. How much? We don't have any stone yet, do we? No. Mental break, sad wander. Because of a disturbed sleep. Well, I mean, it could have been worse. That's one of the uh, more forgiving ones. I think we'll put a stone cutter bench just out there because we don't really care too much about it. We're gonna switch this over to corn now and this allows sowing. The reason for that is there's a bunch of rich soil over here as well. I want to try and include some of that in the growing zone. Because rich soil is even better than lichen covered. And will give us a lot of growing speed. And it's also partly lichen covered, which is half as good. And then we've got soil, which is just okay. Even then, corn is the most effective to have on there. So, that's good. Marat is just working away. Defo is also just researching for us right now. Look at that research speed. We are getting hydroponics done. So at this point, it might not be a, an episode where much happens, but this needed to happen. We needed some research. Like, a lot of it. So I'm very glad. We'll set this temperature to be a little bit lower. You can use more power if you want. It's gonna keep us... Well... It's gonna keep us warm. In the long run. We're gonna add another standing torch over there, a torch lamp if you will. Because torch lamps, they do give a bit of, a little bit of heat and we are running out of heat here. We'll turn the, uh, the cooler down to another 10 degrees. We make that 20, dear lord. We need to keep trying to heat the inside so we can cool the, co 
the cooler further or better. I don't know. Words. And she's no longer wandering in sadness. Good. I want to try and make this a little more beautiful. So we're going to tell people to start smoothing the floors. What smoothing the floors does is basically take away the minus one beauty penalty and make it plus two instead. And it does make people walk faster. We're not going to smooth these tiles, except for maybe the doors, because they're going to be walls as soon as we get the bricks up. As soon as we built the stone cutter table. So just get that done, please. We might have to start growing some trees as well. I think oak trees grow the fastest. A party! Yeah, we're throwing a party. Hell yeah! Grow me... Oak tree. I think you have, like... Growing time, 30 days. Poplar. We're gonna grow poplar. It doesn't take as long to grow. We're gonna disallow sowing, because it's minus 12 outside. It's only 6 degrees inside. And yeah, people are attending a party, which will give everyone a buff to their mood. Which is good, because we've got some negative debuffs. Shared bedroom still making people unhappy. I mean, it's a beautiful room, though. Aside from the fur. Ugly environment, shared bedroom, sick, tattered apparel. Drop your parka. Drop that. Drop that. Party is finished! Plus 15 for everyone! We've gotten rid of your uh, tattered apparel. We replace it by worn out. You replace. Oh my god. Of all the things you could wear, why was it that? That's better. You're feeling cramped now, but that's fine. So yeah, that was a good party to have. Everyone's a lot happier now. I'd love it if we could get better beds so people could get more comfortable. Actually, do we have any wood? Not a lot. I'm gonna start selecting for like ready to harvest or mostly grown trees. Because we'd like to get a lot of wood. We're also gonna leave space for trees to regrow. Now in future I wanna try and wall this area off. So that we can do things over here. I'm gonna take like 70 wood. We need one over there as well. We'll cut down a few more trees to compensate. But yeah, the reason I want to cut that off is we want to make this a choke point. And this. We'll put like defenses over here. And they'll we'll also put walls over here so that they'll be forced to walk over the marsh and have no cover, nothing. It'll be great. The only cover they'll have will be out of range. Which will be perfect for our purposes of staying alive. And not dying in general. I like not dying in general. Not dying is pretty good. I can recommend it from experience. Our LMG is lying out there, isn't it? Yes, it is. Fortunately, we can't do anything with that. I I am plan. I might just roof all this over and have like indoor growing lamps. As it stands, it's working out fair enough. So we're not going to change anything just yet. We're about to get our hydroponics research, which is great. Speaking of, now the question is, do we want to go for a moisture pump? Which will allow us to turn this marsh into usable soil. Actually, do we have any geothermal spots inside? No, we have no geothermal anywhere nearby. That's very unfortunate. Closest one is right over there, which is way too far away. So that's not going to be a thing. We don't need to research geothermal yet. Let's get ourselves a moisture pump so we can start making use of this drain and make it faster for our people to walk on. Now as we can see, Engie is smoothing the fort and is getting 3 beauty instead of minus 1, so plus 4 per tile. That'll be great for making people happier. As we can see on the Nitro, now beauty is low. The only reason they have some beauty is because of these tables, etc. So just imagine when we've smoothed out all the floor. It'll be great. Oh! Hi! There's an infestation! 
So when you go deep enough into the uh, into the mountains, we're gonna get infestations and hives popping up and bugs. We've got a spellopede right there, in fact. That's bad. We're gonna have to fight that. You've got a personal shield, eh? Well, in that case, you get a gladius. All right, let's hope Engie can get away. Thank you. That was very bad. Wow. Kai, get inside. We need to save Marat. Just kill it. Oh god, there's a ton of stuff now. Quickly, leave! Marat might be dead. I think Marat's gonna die. Marat's alive, but not in a good state. We're gonna turn down the heater. We're gonna hopefully try and boil them to death. I don't know. We need to get Marat out of there. And then we need to try and contain that infestation. This is bad. Right, NG, I need you to get the sniper rifle. 79. Oh, normal, normal, of course. This is bad. Thankfully, we are prepared. Somewhat. And this is a good in indication to know that, hey, stuff can go horribly wrong over here. We're gonna hold that door open for now. We're gonna get Davo to stand in there, and hopefully this will allow NG to get a shot through the door. You know, or not. I mean, we should be able to see him. Yeah, there we go. We did get some hits in. Right, Davo, you abandon the door now. We're gonna play it safe. Now oh, he's injured. We're gonna put Kai over here, and I'm gonna put Davo right here. If he does end up breaking through the door, which I wouldn't blame him for. Nope, he's gone back, he's given up. Right, stack up once more. We're gonna do this again. Also, rescue Morat right now. There we go, Morat is safe. And not dying from bugs, which is always nice. Uh, Dave, oh, uh, Angie, can you pretend to be a doctor for just a minute? Uh, Angie, just thank you. Prioritize treating so she doesn't die. Or he. I mean, I just lose count after a while. Oh, nice hits. What we're now going to do is bail. Because of course we are. Marat, meanwhile, is being taken care of. She has bled heavily, but... He. I keep mixing that up. I'm so sorry. That guy's pretty... Oh crap, they've broken the door. They've broken the door. Turns out they don't care. Come on, Kai. You're a decent shot, Kai. Come on. I mean, at least we've got Marat not dying anymore. Okay, we have hit the uh, the giant mega spider. It actually worked out okay, so that's good. Marat's gonna live at this point. Actually, Dayfo, can you... Uh... We'll get the better medic to do it. Or a doctor, rather. With actual training. At some point. Please kill the mega spider. That would be great. It is now rushing towards us again. Qu quickly, NG, come on, move! Nice! It is dead! That's one less to worry about. Kai, move in. Also, turning off the heat did not work. Just an FYI. That's because we didn't have enough, like, heat generated in here. You can kill them with heat stroke, but you need, like, a good 80 or 90 degrees Celsius. I like hold these doors open, that would be grand. Quickly, abandon, abandon! 
Use the marshy terrain against them. There we go. Angie, quickly. Yeah, good, we can kill him, that's good. Angie, keep moving, try and keep him on the back foot. We're gonna get so injured doing this. But we should have been through the worst of it now. That's great, excellent. Sit wrap. There's one spellopedal left. We're gonna finish it right now. At least hopefully we will. It's slow. It's dead. Right. You guys line up over there. We are alive, amazingly. Thankfully we did have the party so that people are a bit more resilient of mind. Dear lord. That could have gone horribly wrong. I'm fairly sure it nearly did. Rats, okay. All our people are injured right now. Davo's gonna be doing some medical work and a half. Jesus Christ, we are so lucky to be alive. And with that close encounter, I'm going to end the episode here. If you enjoyed the video, then please do leave a like down below, as it really does help out the channel a lot. And shows that Rimworld is a series you wish to see continued on the channel. Leave a comment if you have anything to say, and until next time, have a good one, folks.